Hey guys, Bigaz over here, and you are watching WG Labs. Guys, today I am again with a new video around Raspberry Pi Pico W, and today we will see how we can program the Pi Pico W module using Arduino Lab MicroPython IDE. So the Pico W module need to have the MicroPython firmware. When it comes to programming any MicroPython control, there are multiple ways we can do that. You can use Thony IDE. You can also use VS Code. Actually, I have already made a video around it, like how you can use the VS Code with PyMaker extension to program the PyPico Dodo model. But today, we'll see how we can use the Arduino Lab for MicroPython IDE too. So, being said that, let's get started. the files those are available in your machine so you can navigate to any folder or directory on your system if you want and also you can see all the files available in the pipico download this is something i had already installed so those are files are available in the pico w okay. apart from that we have this run and stop and reset command that you can use to run the script that you are currently working on and let's say you want to open the terminal again you can click on terminal this one so this is simple script uh, that's already there so let's try to run this this should print this dot 10 times so if we do that you can see this now let's say i want to go to the files i open this main.py where i have already written a script that basically toggles the led or the onboard led of the pico w model to do that i'll just click run and the led should start blinking now one more thing over here we can to exit we can press ctrl b okay now let's say you want to upload some files to the pico w module let's say so you can click on plus icon you can give it a name let's say test test already there so test 2.py and you can see the file should be available here you can also write some code and click on save button this will update the file so let's say i take this particular code here for early toggle and i put it into test 2.py save it I can also execute it. Same now, LED should. Okay, unexpected indentation is the same. Just give me a second. Okay. Now, this should start blinking. Okay, that's how we can do it. Also, one thing is by default, the main.py gets executed when any controller with MicroPath Python firmware boots up. So, if you want to run something when the PyPico W boots up, make sure you uh, have your code in main.py and you can also include other files and all that like you do in MicroPython. So, that's all with this, guys. I hope it will be useful for you. If so, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, consider subscribing it. See you next time with our next video. Till then, goodbye.